It's a bit fake digital if you stop there. It's perfectly fine to fake it till you make it, but ultimately you need to also to digitize your core. So Bauke, digital transformation is a term that we hear a lot in the industry. Uh, but there also seems to be quite a few competing definitions of it. Yes. So what's your yeah. view on it? Well, in my view, if you, if you, if you look at digital transformations, uh, you, do, you need to do two things. And in that competition of definitions, uh, the, these are very often mixed or people have a different sequence or a different priority. Where on the one hand, where it starts is to get to a seamless customer experience, which is significantly better versus what customers currently experience. And on the other hand, you shouldn't forget to, to then also digitize your core and become more efficient. And when people emphasize the first too much, uh, which is fine as a start, I would say. If I would be a startup, I would, I would definitely start there. And then maybe my back office would be well, completely uh, uh, offline, hey, if you if you will. Uh, uh, so it's a good start, uh, but it's a bit fake digital if you stop there. Uh, it's perfectly fine to fake it till you make it, but ultimately you need to also to digitize your core and demonstrate that you're digital by being highly efficient and therefore also scalable. So looking a bit at the financial industries, um, what do you think will be the biggest challenges and opportunities on the other hand, facing your sector over say the next five years? Yeah, five years, that's a long, uh, long, a time, long time to uh, look, uh, look ahead. Uh, yeah, I truly, truly believe uh, that as financial industry, uh, we need to continuously improving on our customer experience uh, and uh, if we do so hey, on, on, on the back of very sound products uh, uh, that well, that will ultimately uh, make us successful as uh, as industry versus well fintechs who might have a slightly uh, product on a very specific uh, use case or even well bigger tech players uh, uh, who might come in uh, with a good user experience but who lack the product uh, product set so it's a combination of well, continuously improving the customer experience uh, and hence we've also as ING have made that uh, one of our two strategic priorities on the back of a uh, very good product uh, product set uh, versus well, some other banks who well, have, have, have made different priorities. Are there any large opportunities you're seeing that ING should grasp? Well I think the, uh, the, bi the big opportunity is on using our data even more uh, to improve uh, that, that customer experience. Uh, and well, that can be uh, done in uh, well, many, uh, many ways. Uh, first, firstly, uh, via directly improving uh, the way we interact with our uh, customers. But secondly, also by uh, uh, reducing um, and managing our risks in a better, uh, better way, uh, which will ultimately also be of the benefit for the benefit of our uh, of our customers. Uh, so around data analytics, uh, there there well is a huge opportunity to further uh, further improve. Let's talk about how AI is affecting your industry today. What disruptions or opportunities have emerged in the past few years that financial sector companies should grasp? Well, I think for on, on AI, uh, there, there's uh, well, in the financial industry, uh, on the one hand, a, a big opportunity, but we carry so much data of our customers uh, that capturing that opportunity always, also comes with a, with a very big responsibility. Yeah. Uh, so, well, responsibly uh, doing uh, AI in a responsibly manner is uh, incredibly relevant for, uh, for our industry. And for that reason, well, we probably also, uh, compared to other industries, use a bit more internal data versus uh, uh, versus external. Are quite cautious uh, in 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 exploring uh, uh, opportunities. Uh, uh, very explicit in uh, in the uh, uh, the way we approach customers on an on an opt-in. But at the same time, uh, looking at markets uh, which which have 
consistently have been using uh, uh, AI to improve the customer experience. There's also well, a high trust of customers in, in how we uh, deal with their data and how we protect their confidentiality. But at the same time, uh, uh, help them in managing their personal, uh, personal finance.